Okay, one of the most common questions I received from your most important syllabus assignment discussion was, can you tell us something about Zoom? And the first thing I want to tell you before I start is that my camera is on one screen and Zoom is on the other. I actually have three screens, so it, sometimes it looks when you're giving a speech that I'm not looking at you because I'm trying to look where I'm grading and you're down here. So if it looks odd where I'm looking, that's why. Okay, what is Zoom? Well, Zoom is the conference software we will use in order to record your presentations. I uh, could probably move this a little bit. Maybe it's a little easier to see me with the white behind me than all the changing pictures. But I'm going to show you a little bit about Zoom. A couple of people tried it today. Um, let's see. go into my account. I will set a meeting, and this is what I do for office hours, and this is how we will give our speeches. And I will schedule a new meeting, and I'll usually entitle it office hours or informative speech or whatever, what time it's for. Um, say, yeah, we're going to be using the video, and uh, audio will be telephone or computer if you're on a smartphone. And I normally don't record it. I always take that off. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is you can use Zoom for free. You just are limited on how long your meeting can be and how many people can be in there. But you can get a free account if you that are online want to use this to talk to one another. Okay, it gives me an address that I will take. And I will put that address, start this meeting, in announcements. And you click on that address and it tells you what to do. Right now it is launching Zoom. And Zoom opens on a different screen. So I'll have to, well, oh, maybe it's going to open on this screen today. Oh, no, it's not. But <laughs> it opens. Hang on, let me finish it. And I have to tell it, yes, use my computer audio. This is what the screen looks like. And here's a few things about Zoom. When we give our speeches, now um, I obviously don't have my camera on. It says start video. And the reason my camera's not on is because the camera's on for studio. So I can't have it on both things or else you would see me here. But I wanted to show you this. See, it says share screen. When you click on that, it will share your screen with whomever is in with us in the room. And so if you have a PowerPoint or pictures or video, Everyone who's in your round of speeches can see your visual aid. Okay? And then when we're done, you, there will be a bar at the top that you will drag back up, and there's a little red bar that says in share, and you in share, and it ends. Um, let's see. Yours will look more like download and run Zoom. The first time you do it, it downloads. Yes, it is software that downloads onto your computer. It is teeny, teeny, tiny. And when you close out of Zoom, it uninstalls. So it's not taking up a lot of space on your computer. And you will uh, join a meeting or sign in. or But you just follow the link. And so you won't have quite this same thing. You just follow the link that I give you. Okay? that I, I will provide um, for the office hours or for the speeches. And I'm going to end that and get rid of it. So that's really all there is to Zoom. It's actually very, very easy to use. We will use it for office hours. I always post the link in the announcements. And we will use it for our speeches. We give the speeches live. And um, you'll know the dates a couple of weeks before the speeches. And I'll, I probably will give them to you even earlier than that, so you all have time to kind of guess and pick a date and things of that nature. I have a very a variety of dates and times. And about 10 to 15 minutes before each round, I will send the link for that particular uh, round of speeches to you via the announcements. And you'll go click, come in, and give your presentations. So that's what there is.